Thanks for staying with us. So joining us is the Registrar General and the CEO of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Garba Abubakar. He will be giving us tips on how to register your businesses and the problems associated with their offerings when it comes to business registration. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Mariah. Good morning. Good morning to you. So you. now, everybody's asking us to become entrepreneurs, such a business. You know, we're trying to build the economy and participate. And the first step for anyone that wants to start a business is really to register with the government. But sometimes this process can be quite cumbersome because you have to say, who do you know that can help me to register? Mm -hmm. Or CSC. And mm -hmm. they start asking you to charge. They start charging all these big figures. So I know you have some good news for us on how not to do that. So I'd like you to help us. How, how is the most, what's the most seamless process in registering with the government? Thank you. This, is, this question is very apt. The process is completely electronic now. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to go through an agent if you are the owner of that business. Mm -hmm. This new rule started long ago as part of the ease of doing business initiative of the government. Government introduced a window for direct registration by the entrepreneur himself or the trustee of an association. Until this year, the process was semi-automated you are still required to visit CAC to collect the incorporation documents. But since 3rd of January this year, you can create an account on the company registration portal. If you go to pre.cac.gov.ng, as a public user and, and the owner of the business, you can create an account. All you require is a valid email address. You put your details. Once you have that account, then you are set to register either a company, a business name, a limited partnership or a limited liability partnership, or an incorporated trustee. The only precondition is your name will appear as one of the owners, one of the trustees. This was a necessary measure because we didn't want a situation where non-professional would take over and be doing it for a fee on behalf of others. Mm -hmm. So once you have that account, the interface for you to reserve a unique name is available. You have an option to submit two names in order of preference. We will check the database. Our officers will review. <coughs> we have some guidance on what can be approved and what can be denied because the law has come has enshrined some conditions upon which certain names will not be allowed. Where there's an identical name already registered, they will not give you that name. Or a name that is closely similar to an earlier registered name will not give you that name. Or where the name has some restricted words, you require the consent of the registrar general and the process of obtaining that consent is separate from the normal process of name reservation. So you have to apply for a reservation form <coughs> and front load all the information, your objectives, the names of the directors or the trustees, as the case may be. If we are satisfied, then we'll give you the name. The moment you have the name, then you can proceed to register. Mm -hmm. For a business name, a company or limited liability partnership, you can even start an a and finish that registration the same day. Mm -hmm. Unlike before, where you are required to print these documents, sign them, submit to CAC to collect your original certificate. Mm -hmm. With a new portal, it's electronic end-to-end. All you are required to do is you type out your memorandum, your objectives. You have an option to adopt the model articles, which is provided in the portal. If you choose to modify, then you modify. Then you submit details of the trustees or the directors and the shareholders. You enter the details with the addresses. Then you upload your signatures. So you don't need to print any document, mm. sign, and maybe submit originals. All you do is you crop your signature on any paper and you submit. Once you do that, you pay the registration fee. And the registration fee, particularly for a company with one million share capital, is just 10,000 naira. Stamp duty costs you about 7,500 naira. So with less than 20,000 naira, you can start and finish wow. incorporation. Yes, mm -hmm. you can, so, yes, yes. Okay, so um, some business people have complained and said that uh, the server is always down. So I had a few of my colleagues who tried to register businesses, and it took them about three weeks to get it done because they kept complaining that the server is always down. It seemed like it's not really working properly for now. That, that, I believe that happened last year, not this year. But this year, sir? No, no. It's either, you know, if your internet connection is not strong, mm. you may not realize that the problem is from you. Your own end. But since the beginning of this year, we have not experienced any downtime. Sometimes it's slow in the afternoon. We have received these complaints from customers. Okay. During peak hours, it's slow. This is not peculiar to us. 
even some of the best telecommunication companies have used to have this choose. experience. Yeah. So what we, are, what we are trying to do is to actually upgrade mm. the, the, the infrastructure, the capacity, so that there will be seamless service even at peak hours. So, but generally, the portal is available. We've not had any downtime from the 3rd of January when this new system came into effect to date. Right. We've not experienced any downtime. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yes. So, sir, many um, Nigerians, you, you know, we hear all the time that uh, informal sector is the highest, <clears throat> you know, compared to the formal sector. Many of our businesses are sort of at, you know, small levels, subsistence level. And some, some of them would like to formalize their business, and they believe that registration is part of it. But they're asking, do I need to have all the one million Naira shares and all that to get on the platform, first of all? And secondly, this thing seems so very techy, and you have to be, you know, you understand the majority of Nigerians, some of them do not have the know-how you know, the no. know -how of, you know, getting online and following all these instructions. So they may also need help. What does this new platform provide for this group of Nigerians? Okay, thank you so much. Um, about share capital, you don't, have, you don't need to have the money before you can register. In fact, you can start a business without paying your own contribution. You may not even pay the contribution until the company is being wound up. It's just an undertaking from you that in the event of the company being wound up, you agree to contribute so so amount, and if the, if the company is even able to pay its debt during the winding up, including the cost of the winding up, you are not even obliged to pay that contribution. Some companies will register. They borrow money because they are in a market where their product sells. Banks will give them money. The shareholders may not contribute a couple at all for the life of that company. So it's just a commitment. This is what I, we, we agree to contribute. You may not have to put it down, but you have to issue it. Unlike before, where when you have the one million, you may not issue it all of it. But this, the, new, the new law says you must issue all the share capital. So that if anything happens, every shareholder has to bring his own contribution mm. to pay the debt mm -hmm. of the company at the point of winding up. For Nigerians, there may not be technology, they may not have technological side. What we have tried to do is. If you go to our website, we have multimedia there that takes you through the whole gamut of mm. the new application, from how to create an account, how to register, how to make your yeah. data entry, how to submit your documents, right. up to the end of the process. So that provides a clear guide. And the window for you to in go Nigerian through... In Nigerian languages? It's in English, actually. English. It's in English. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> our regulation says all our documents must, must be in English. English. Okay. So uh, if you are unable to do it yourself, you can still approach an agent That's and true. negotiate the fees because the window for lawyers, accountants, and chartered secretaries still still there. to register on behalf of third parties is still there. Okay. Okay. All right, let me yes. go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. I'd like to encourage those of you who own businesses to call in. This is your gapatapata of CSC. Okay. Please <laughs> come and ask your questions now. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We have the um, Registrar General of the CAC with us here. Nima, you had a question before the break. Yes, I had a question. Um, so I wanted to know what you do about complaints now. Because people still have issues with registration, even though it's online. How fast is the complaints, the ex and, and resolution, and how can they avail themselves of that? Also, there's a question for you. You said, please kindly ask the Corporate Affairs Commission, if someone wants to review an existing registered name like Fabulous City and remove City and just leave it like, like Fabulous, is it allowed, or if it is allowed, what are the requirements? Okay, thank you, Nima. On complaints, we have three or four channels for escalating complaints to the commission. One is through the helpline, but the helpline work operates from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You have a support center on the portal, and we always encourage people to use the support center. You get a ticket, there's a ticket number, and you can track the complaint up to resolution level, or you can send a telegram. We have a telegram, particularly for all the lawyers that are accredited with us, those that have subscribed, 
you can also send your complaint through this medium. We are planning to have a full-scale CRM by next year where we'll have dedicated offices that will work 24-7 mm. to attend to these issues. We are not there yet. This is actually our focus for next year. All right. So I know On the issue of name, oh, yeah. yes, he can change the name. That has to come by way of change of name. Mm -hmm. He has to apply to reserve the name. He has to submit the new name as a change of name request. If it is approved, then he will submit his resolution for change of name, pay the requisite fee on the portal. This is purely electronic, and a new certificate will be issued to him reflecting the new name. So, so someone, some, somebody is, got sent a message from he lives abroad, and he's saying that you need to have an NIN number before you can apply on a registry yes, company, sir. because now that there's everybody talking about NIN. Yes, for, for, for now, we will soon integrate with the National Identity Database. In okay. fact, the work is almost concluded. But for now, if you have your driver's license, a Nigerian driver's license, or your international passport, the data page, okay. or your national ID, you can register. If you are a foreigner, then you are allowed to register a company in Nigeria, <coughs> and you can submit the data page of your international passport as a foreigner. But to use a Nigerian address as your own personal address, mm. you must have a residence permit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, as a director or shareholder, you can use your foreign address. But the company's address must be suited in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so that's the requirement. Right. Yes. But very soon, we are going to integrate with the National Identity Card Management Database. And once that is done, for every Nigerian or a foreigner resident in Nigeria, you must use your NIN number right. to register. Because this is necessary as part of measures to ensure the integrity of our information. We've seen okay. cases where some of these identifications are cloned. Mm. People will change, go and use another person's identity, change the name, and submit to us. Exactly. Yes. So with the integration, once we enter the number, it will validate your details before we exactly. proceed to register. Let me take Hassan. Hassan's been holding for a while. Hassan, are you there? Morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, good morning to your special guest, O'Connor, the, uh, the Registrar Corporate Affairs Commission. Uh, this is the second time I'm hearing from you, sir. And I really appreciate you for the radical approach you brought to the registration of companies and business names in Nigeria. Congratulations to you, and congratulations to the federal government of Nigeria. Number two, my question here is this. Can one register as a simple owner of a company online before where a person is not allowed to own a whole company. That's number one. Number two, uh, I heard you, you said something, that there's still a window for the professional, for the lawyer. But please, I would like you to do us a favor. Please, there should be a cap to their charges. The money, the professional, the lawyer <laughs> charges for the registration of companies is beyond your own personal imagination, sir. Some charges as high as 250,000 naira. Ah, yes. Wow. And this issue must come to an end. All right. Because I can see you there as a patriotic Nigerian. I can see a federal government trying to bail us out from the shackles of the professional consultants and the lawyer. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much, Hassan. Thank you so much. Yes, with the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020, you can register a one-man company. And it has all the powers of a company. It has a separate legal personality from the numbers. It can sue and be sued in its own name. It can own property in its own name. So one-man company is, not, is now recognized under the Nigerian company law. On fees being charged by lawyers and other professionals, unfortunately, it's not within our purview to actually control how much a professional can charge. My advice to you is our fees have been published. All what is supposed to be paid to incorporate a company or to pay stamp duty is published. So before you engage any professional, find out what the what, what this statutory fee is then you can use it to negotiate how much you are going to pay him. Right. Well, you're asking to give you a breakdown of the statutory fees and his, the, his, own, fee his own fee for the professional charge. If it is too much, you can negotiate. If you are not satisfied, then you can approach another professional. 
to do it on your behalf. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that some countries have actually pegged the maximum amount that professional can charge for company incorporation. Oh. Well, in Nigeria, we don't have that yet. Is there any plan to have it? Well, we are not contemplating that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but maybe it may come up later okay. as part of this. But, but the mere fact that you can do it yourself, mm. yeah. I think it's, it's, it's sufficient comfort for everybody. Right, yes. Let me take this comment. You don't even need to pay any professional. Tijani, are you there? Yeah, good morning. You're live. Go well, ahead, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, uh, Murayo and the crew. Morning, I'm uh, Tijani calling from Kano. I, when I, I, I opened a business uh, in 2016 uh, for agricultural products and services, which include... Uh, sourcing and exportation of uh, agricultural commodities. But um, a while back, I think there was an announcement made, from, made by the CAC that every company should come for a revalidation. I made every possible effort to get in touch with CAC on how to go about the revalidation, but I never got a response from them. I made calls, email, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all the channels that you know, I never got a response from their customer okay. service, which is very, 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 very bad from at least a country like Nigeria, where, yeah. you know, the vice president came about uh, with this uh, ease of doing business. Yeah. So there's still much to be done okay. by the CAC, please. Okay, thank you. Let me let the... Teacher. Well, I'm sorry to Jenny if you didn't get a response on that. We'll look into that. But the revalidation is not for companies. The revalidation is for accredited agents, that is lawyers, accountants, and chartered secretaries that conduct business on behalf of third parties. For companies, all you need to do, and this is a legal requirement, is to be filing your returns every year. You don't need to come and revalidate. You are only required to file when you make changes, when you are directorship, when you are increasing your share capital, or when you, when, when you change your address. Apart from that, Every year, you must file your returns. I will advise you to check your status on our portal. You go to, pre, to public search at pre.cac.gov.ng. If you put the name of your company, it will tell you whether that company is active or inactive. Mm. If your company is not filing returns, <laughs> certainly it's inactive. So all you are required to do is to update your returns. You can do it directly, but to be able to do that, you must create an entity electronic account. We have introduced a window where every company can do its own post incorporation. Apart from, the, we have separated the registration interface from the post registration interface. So you can apply, go to our website, download the form for entity electronic account, complete it and send it to us. We'll create the account and send you the link. With that, we'll be able to file your returns directly. You don't need to even go to an agent. Fantastic. Thank you. Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there, Alex? We lost that. I think there's another call waiting. All right, so I know I saw you at the ministerial briefing or the retreat. No, I was not at the retreat. It was the presentation of an NPC certificate. That was what we Okay, so I was wondering what you're doing in Lagos because that was pretty... No, no, I was not part of the retreat. We came here for customers forum. Oh. Yes, it's part of our feedback mechanism. We interact with our customers, lawyers, accountants, and chairs secretaries. Since this deployment... We've not had the opportunity to interact. The last one was held last year. Okay. We want to get their feedback on our services, on how the portal is, their experience so far. Then this feedback will enable us to now make necessary corrections right. or adjustments okay. as necessary. So we have one that is holding to the Earth, Southern Sun Hotel okay. in Ikoi. The second one will be tomorrow at the Lagos Airport Hotel. Okay. So we decided to hold it in those two locations because of the restriction on the number of persons. Right. We, are, we expect 200 customers today in the southern zone, and another 200 tomorrow at the Lagos Airport Hotel. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me take Mustafa yeah. that come to Maria. Mustafa, are you there? I'm here, ma. You're live. Go ahead, please. OK. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, Registrar General. My question is this. With all these online models that they have adopted for use of the same business, how do we maintain the integrity of the data so that somebody cannot come and go and adjust mm -hmm. the shareholders without authorization? Mm. As in, is it how from Nigeria factor? How secure? How do you but, but thank you, Mustafa. As I have said, we have two categories of persons that can 
make filings on behalf of CAC. It's either an accredited customer. If you are accredited, we know you. We know your details. If anything happens, we'll hold you responsible. And to be able to file as an accredited customer, you must indicate the officer of the company that authorized you to do that. That has to be provided before you can submit any application. Mm. Or the company itself. For the company to do that, they must have an electronic entity account. And they must designate one of their officers that will manage that account on their behalf. So any filing coming through that medium is deemed to have been authorized by the company. Our portal is secured. Our infrastructure is secured. We are hosting at the Galaxy Data Center, which is a federal government-owned data center. We have a replication in our premises with state-of-the-art firewall. And we will constantly review, do a lot of checks to ensure that the database and the infrastructure is secured. Thank you very much. I mean, I think that we can wrap up with that. Thank We're you. Speaking with the CEO of the Corporate Affairs Commission and the Registrar General, Garba Abubakar, thank you so much for enlightening us this morning on the process. And we'll, call, we'll let you know with feedback. Trust yeah. me, with Nigeria, yeah. trust, me, trust our viewers. You will call in and let us know if there's any issues. But we'll send the feedback to you and we hope that it will be resolved. Thank, thank you so you, Mara. much. Thank you. All right, thank we're going to go thank you. Thank you. on a quick you, break now. We'll come back, move on to our hot topics. Stay Bye with now. us. We'll